So today we're going to take a look at a Twitch streamer who's been pretty much completely banned from the platform after shooting a gun on stream. So as a quick rundown here, this guy has been streaming on Twitch for years now, and last night he was streaming some Black Ops 2 on Twitch while he was drunk. And for whatever reason, he decided it would be a fantastic idea to pull out a legit firearm on stream. I mean, you could pretty much tell from the beginning that was not going to end well. A drunk guy on Twitch with a firearm that's low. So pretty much he was just messing with this gun on stream for a few seconds and for some reason his finger was on the trigger the entire time and not even once did he check to see if the gun was loaded or not. I mean the safety wasn't even on for some reason like this was so easily preventable. Now before I go ahead and show you guys the clip that got this guy banned on Twitch him shooting a firearm on stream in his house I went through frame by frame and blocked out this gun in the clip because I'm extremely close to getting monetized here on YouTube and I'm not sure exactly what YouTube's policy is with having guns in videos so I'm just not even gonna go ahead and risk having a gun in my video when I'm extremely close to getting monetized here Hostile vehicle worship inbound. <laughs> bitch say I ain't got money say I ain't got money god damn what the fuck I swear to God, I just emptied the mag! So as you probably expected, as soon as this clip surfaced, he was immediately banned from Twitch. But Twitch also ended up informing him that he is not permanently banned, but he has an indefinite suspension. And if you don't know what that means, pretty much at some point, Twitch is gonna decide how long they want him to be suspended for. He could be suspended for a week, or it could be a permanent ban. So after this incident blew up on Twitter, he was immediately kicked from the organization he was signed to, Sore Gaming, and he was obviously forced to release an apology video, which which we're going to take a look at now. So last night I uh possibly ruined the rest of my life and years of hard work. I was clearly intoxicated, but the fact of the matter is whether I was sober or intoxicated, guns are not a toy. They are not to be messed with even if I've had the gun for 2 years. You could still do something stupid like that. For Christ's sake, it went through a cup, bounced off the cup, and broke my $1,000 fucking monitor. And now I'm suspended from Twitch. I have no idea if I'm even able to get my earnings from last month. I have no idea if I'm ever going to be able to come back to Twitch. I just made such a stupid, stupid, stupid mistake. I have held that gun countless times and I don't know why I didn't drop the mag and triple check it, double check it like I always do. And I don't know why my finger went to the trigger and immediately pulled it. All I can say is that I'm sorry and I deserve everything. You know, you can entertain people without fucking doing something so stupid, Carl. I don't know how we're going to get through this, but I just know we're going to have to get through it. And hopefully we can get back on Twitch. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but anyone who still supports me, thank you. Now, I mean, from that clip, you can tell he's not a bad guy at all. He obviously made a sequence of awful decisions that led to probably the biggest mistake he's ever made in his entire career. But I mean, there's definitely no reason for this guy to be like canceled over this. I don't think his career's over. Either Twitch is going to unsuspend him or he can go over to YouTube or Mixer. Most likely YouTube, because who uses Mixer, honestly? I mean, I get Ninja got his bag from Mixer, but who actually uses Mixer? Anyway, it's pretty clear he learned from his mistake here. So I honestly hope to see him bounce back here on YouTube in a few months. Hopefully he doesn't face any kind of legal trouble here because I heard it's a felony in his state to do this. I'm not sure how true that is. But anyway, that's where I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at subterelex. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.